What's up? I'm Dylan Hughes. I'm the driver of the Royal Purple BMW E46 here in Pro One FD. So behind me is my competition car. This is a uh, 2005 BMW E46 chassis uh, that I got off of one of my buddies. Uh, I bought it for about a thousand bucks as a stock complete running car and I took it back to my shop and completely ripped it to pieces and built it into the weapon that it is today. Underneath the car we have a GT Radio tires with Ford Star wheels. It is FDF steering kit on the full front end, so the, the FDF Mantis kit on the front and then we have factory trailing arms in the rear, BC Racing shocks with FDF upper and lower control arms in the rear. So behind me here is the legendary three liter inline six cylinder, the 2JZ. So I opted to run a factory crankshaft in this thing, leaving it factory displacement at three liters. Royal Purple keeps this 2JZ engine super happy. We run an XPR 550 oil. We run CB Carrillo rods and pistons in it. We run Brian Crower camshafts in it. So all the buckets, all the valves, all the springs, all the retainers, everything is all super tech performance. Uh, we run a Garrett Motion G40 1150 turbo at about 32 PSI, making right around 950 wheel horsepower with a hundred shot of nitrous to spray it at 3000 RPM up to target boot. Uh, basically to make this thing drive like it's a big block Chevy, but sound 10 times better in my opinion. This thing is probably the scariest car I've ever driven. At 3,040 pounds with me in it at about 950 wheel, I mean, it'll do a straight line burnout at 100 if I asked it to, uh, which is pretty terrifying to be honest with you. So every time I get out of this car, I'm always a little bit shaky because it is a terrifying machine. We run an ACT triple disc clutch in this thing. Uh, we run an Andrews four speed transmission in it, which is currently on the bench right here, uh, doing a little bit of maintenance after we whooped on it pretty hard yesterday. Going back, we have a drive shaft shop drive shaft that goes to a winner's performance 10 inch quick change differential with drive shaft shop axles. It's pretty incredible that this thing can see the abuse that it does. I mean. I don't think you could possibly put a chassis through more abuse than drifting. For example, we come down the hill at about 105 miles an hour, so then I tug the handbrake, which brings the rear wheels to a dead stop. And then off the rev limiter with 950 wheel horsepower, I sidestep the clutch, and then it shocks the wheel speed from zero back up to about 120 that we run at this track. And, and I think reliability is absolutely key with this thing, and I think we've found a, a pretty good setup with it so far. Link ECU for the for the electronics has been been helping us out. Hardstock Racing built the, the engine harness and then the chassis harness as well. Uh, and a PWR radiator to keep it all cool, and then a Garrett intercooler core that I ended up making end tanks for, and I fabricated my charge pipes and everything for it. I do all my own fabrication work. There's nobody else that welds on the car except for me. I'm, I'm very particular about it, and I've been doing it for long enough where I have my little ways that I like to do it. So whether it's titanium for the three and a half inch exhaust system, or we have aluminum for the charge pipes, or we have stainless for the wastegate dump tubes. I do all of it. The only thing that I don't do is wiring and electronics. I'm very, very meticulous in particular, and I think that's kind of why we kind of have a reputation for having pretty clean cars, and I like to keep it that way. So thank you guys for following along. Check us out on the Row Purple Instagram, at Row Purple, or on my Instagram, at Dylan Hughes, or check us out on Throttle. Thanks for following along.